Hi everybody and welcome back to IVEX Running. I'm Coach Rachel and today we have a 20 minute beginner HIIT workout for you. If you miss any speed or incline changes, don't worry because we have all of that displayed for you to see over here onto your screen. And then if you look onto the opposite side of your screen, you're gonna see this nice long progression bar. That's gonna show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. Make sure you have a towel and a water bottle handy because 20 minutes we are gonna get sweaty. So if you are ready to get sweaty, look down at that tread, hit that start button, three two and one all right two five three five my most favorite place to start right we're here for a whole entire minute <sighs> walking it out bringing the life into our lungs how are we doing today beginner hit if this is your first time you are a beginner you are going to love it it's going to go quick it's going to go fast you're not going to have any time to stress how it's going to work is everything's 30 seconds hmm? huh? pretty easy right we're already did 30 seconds you didn't even know you just listen to me jabbing my jaws. All right. So from here, we go. We are one minute in the warm up. I should probably say, oh, she's lying because we're doing a minute right now. Okay. One minute in the warm up. We're going to start jogging. We just go a nice soft jog, okay? Just move your feet one foot off the ground at a time. That's a jog, right? Heel to toe. There's always kinds of connection when you're walking, but we're going to pick it up. Woo! Here we go. 10 seconds, 4 0, 6 0. Start moving those feet in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. All we're doing today, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We run, we walk. We run, we walk. So I won't say this one. It's a pretty nice one. You're welcome, team. Here we go. We're here for a minute. We walk it out for a minute. We go right into the workouts. We have two blocks. They're all 30 seconds, and all of the paces are the same. You just get a one minute recovery in between. So halfway through, we'll do eight, eight hits, then you get one minute recovery, and then we do eight more. But like I said, 30 seconds, gonna be a piece of cake. We walk it out, 3040, and nine, and eight, six, five, four, three, two, Good, three, four, we'll walk it out. Now, our hits, the paces, our walk, our recovery, our walk is 3040. We're walking. Our hits for our runs are 4570. 4-5 is kind of like a shuffle. It's not even like a real run. So start slow if you're a beginner. You don't have to start. We have a lot of hits. We have 16 through the whole workout. I want you to just understand that's only eight minutes of actual running. So don't get stressed out when I say the number 16. It's not that much time. So you'll four, five, seven, oh. You can slowly increase. You can pick a pace and just try to hold it through the whole workout. The only thing you're not allowed to do is quit or stop, all right? So you have options. You have a lot of wiggle room. You are tough, you are strong. You're gonna get through it. No ifs, ands, or buts. We get it done. We turn on the video, we finish the video. Here we go, four, five, seven, oh. First one and five. Four, three, two, one, pick it up. Five, five, or four, five, seven, oh. 30 seconds, you get to walk right after this. So, when you think you can't take it anymore, we're gonna take it right back down. We bring some oxygen into your lungs, some life into your body, and then we do it again. Look at this, we only have 10 seconds left, and you're already done with hit number one. We just keep this momentum going for the rest of the workout. Three, two, three, oh, four, oh. Walk it out. Good. If you are an experienced runner, you only had 20 minutes and you put this workout on, feel free, go into your sprint mode. Sprint mode! Okay? You don't have to listen to the numbers. You just give it everything you got for 30 seconds. All right, here we go, round two. What you gonna do? Here we go. 10 seconds, four, five, seven, oh. Stronger, harder than the last one. We go in five, four, Three, two, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Whew. You're already on hit number two. Whew. That's it, guys. This is it. It doesn't have to get harder than what you're doing right here, right now. Just remember that. So if this is like, okay, I can handle this. This is my limit today. You're good. All you have to do is keep doing it over and over again. You got five, four, Three, two, 
walk it out. Just like that. We're just gonna keep tackling them one after another, after another, after another. You're not gonna have enough time to even think about it. You're just getting them done. 20 seconds, we go again. Hit number three. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Whoop, whoop. Ready? Oh, yeah. 10 seconds. The 30 seconds feels longer than the run to me. Five, four, three, two, four, five, seven, oh. Pick your pace. Let's go. Keep squeezing that core. Keep pumping the arms. Don't hold on to your breath. That's where we usually mess up as runners, new runners, right? The breath. It's not the body, it's the breath. We go in five. Well, I overshadowed. Now we go in five, four, three, two, one. I think for new runners, the issue is not knowing how to hold pace and not knowing how to control your breathing. If you learn how to do those two things, you will see a huge difference in your running. And good news, we train that here all the time, right? This is good if you're like one of those people who think you need to sprint and you wanna go hard. This is the workout, this is how you begin, right? You go hard for 30 seconds, pull it back, we go again, three, two, one. But don't forget to breathe. Hit number four. You got four more. And block number one. Remember, you get one minute recovery. So you have eight, eight hits in the first block. After the eight hits, you get a one minute recovery instead of our 30 second recovery. So you only have four more. You get your one minute recovery. Three, two, walk it out. All right, we're already on hit five. We're already six minutes into this workout. You only have really only 13 minutes left. Come on team, it's going by too fast. Time is flying. Here we go, 10 seconds we go. Eight seconds, four, five, seven, oh. Hit number five, block number one, four, three, two. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I like was just telling, telling the staff that you know, 30 seconds is like your dream when you're on the machine, when you're on your tread. You're like, 30 seconds? I got that. It's like, that's like a golden number. You see it and you're like, you suddenly smile. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now walk it out. Good. You only have three more left. And block number one. It's magical. How you feeling guys? Check in with your breath. Inhale, exhale in this recovery moment. Right, take a bigger inhale, slower exhale. Just remember, you got yourself, you're okay. You're gonna finish, you are strong, you are tough. You're not gonna quit. We go in five, four, five, seven, oh, in three, two, one, pick it up. Hit number six, hit number six. Let's go. You got two more in block number one. So only 10 more the whole workout. That's only five minutes of running. I'm trying to break it down so you realize that the number is not so scary. Three, two, one, walk it out. Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. I know, it's like even my sentences are longer than 30 seconds. I have to cut down the, cut down the verbal cues. All right, two more. Two more. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Here we go. Towel off, hydrate when you need. We go in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Let's go. Four, five, seven, oh, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. Huh? Body starting to feel nice. Getting used to the pace. Maybe block number two. You go a little faster. You got this. You're halfway there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one, three, oh, four, oh. One more. That's it. One more. And block number one. You get your, ooh, even better. It's not a one minute, it's 90 second recovery. Right, so give me one more sprint. Make it faster than the last, okay? Add on point one, you can do it. We go in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pick it up. 30 seconds here. 90 seconds of recovery after this. That's on the other side. So don't give up here, don't quit on this one. You earn that recovery in 20 seconds. You're almost there. 10, eight, five, four, three, two, walk it out. You're 90 seconds here, okay? So bring your, bring your mind and your body back in together, right? Inhale, exhale. Just regroup, hydrate, towel off. You have eight more hits. Four more minutes, and then we are finito. We are more than halfway through this whole entire workout. There is no quitting. We are not quitters when we get to this treadmill. We put these videos on. We bring our fiercest versions of ourselves every single time. Still have 50, five, zero seconds left. It's just the same thing we already did. It's a beginner, right? It's just dipping your toe into the running pool, right? We want you to keep coming back. You don't want to overwhelm your body, stress it out so that you can't keep going for the next few days. These are the workouts, right? That if you could do, do it today, you'll still be okay to move tomorrow. That's the goal, right? We don't want to do today and then be done for the rest of the week because you're so sore, you can't do anything. Mm -mm. No, continuously growing. You ready to go? 15 seconds, four, five, seven, oh, same thing, flat road, no incline. I'm just saying that because sometimes they put on incline, we get a little crazy. So you got, a, you got a nice one today. Five, four, three, two, pick it up. Here we go. Hit number one, block number two. One of eight. You got this. Keep squeezing the core, keep pumping your arms. Inhale, don't forget to breathe while you run. And just like that, you only have eight seconds left. Seven seconds left. Five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. Three, oh, four, oh. We're already done with one, okay? Three and a half minutes of running left. I'm gonna keep saying it like that because it sounds silly, right? I know eight hits sounds, sounds more over, overwhelming than saying you only have three and a half minutes left to run for this whole workout. You ready to go again? Four, five, seven, oh, three, two, one. If you were scared of this workout, how do you feel now? You're not scared no more, right? I know you're not. You should feel like that every time. Because every time you put your feet to the shred, you can do it. You gotta just figure out your level for the day. But there's nothing, there's never a day you can't finish these workouts. We go in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. But honestly, like on a day like today, you're not gonna feel too good about yourself if you quit, if you stopped. If you're like, no, what? I'm good at hit number six and I, just, I don't need the last two. It's only a minute. No, there's something about completing something you start. It like sets off something in your brain. It makes you feel like you've, like you've won, you know? And that just, that keeps going throughout your day. Three, two, one. And that process becomes addicting. And then you start tackling things out of your fitness journey, right? Maybe it's work stuff. Maybe it's house stuff. Maybe it's like, oh, I needed to power clean the house and I've been putting it off for six months, but now, now you know what? I said I'm gonna do it this weekend. I'm gonna do it this weekend. And you just keep that type of mentality throughout the rest of your life. Yeah, you win in right there. Five, four, three, 
two. Good. Walk it out. I just say that because I do that a lot. You know, I'm like, oh, so busy. I'll do it tomorrow. But if I just, if I, if I like stay focused, and I'm like, you know what? Not today. I said I'm going to do this. So like write it down, make a list, write a journal. Hey, 35 years old. I still write it. I write lists. It helps. Okay. I'm going to complete this task, this task, this task. I'm going to take 20 minutes to myself and run on the treadmill. I bet you three, two, one, pick it up. Four, five, seven, oh. I bet you, you complete more of the stuff when you write it down than if you were just kept a log into your head. Just trying to teach everybody to be efficient. I'm still learning how to be efficient. I don't like wasting time, right? One life to live, can never get time back. I just want to make the most of each and every single second I have here. We walk it out, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. Where are we at? All right. We got four left. Two minutes of running left. It's been like super fun. <laughs> You're like, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. 10 seconds. We do it again. Hit number five, block number two. We go in five, four, five, seven, oh, three, two. Pick it up. You want it, right? How do you get it? You work for it. Let's go. Let's go. Keep running. Squeeze that core. Pump the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Good. You have 10 seconds. Then you get to walk it out. Five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. All right, three more. It's like coming to the end, you're getting a little sad. I can't believe it. Mm, only three left. Only 90 seconds of running? What? Let's get it going, guys. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye to the finish line. Three more hits. We go in five, four, three, two, four, five, seven, oh. Pick it up. Hit number six. Breathe. You're almost to the finish line. You can see it. It's just straight ahead of you. You only have two more hits after this, and then you're there. Smile. Come on. I know you're happy. Endorphins are kicking in. Five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. All right. One minute left to run. One minute left to fun. If you guys are new to these workouts, just realize I will try to rhyme as much as I can <laughs> for no reason. We go 10 seconds. Four, five, seven, oh, in five, four, three, two. Let's go, baby. Hit number seven, block number two. Last two right here. We go faster because we got stronger through this whole workout. We got braver, right? We weren't scared to move our bodies. We weren't scared to give it all for 30 seconds. We know we're going to be able to bring it back down, recover. You know I'm going to ask for more on the last one. You have seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it back down. Yep, you already know the deal. I don't have to tell you. This one's for all the marbles, okay? You give it everything you got. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's 30 seconds. I don't care if you add on point one. I want you to try to add on something. Right, so only 30 seconds of your life. Make this 30 seconds mean something, okay? Go somewhere you've never been before. Eight, seven, prove to yourself you got this. Four, three, two, let's go pick it up. Hit number eight, block number two, last one. Last one right here. Come on, 10 seconds down. 20 to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, walk it out. Three, oh, four, oh. Now, what do you gotta say, guys? We're here for 30 seconds. We take it back down to five, three, five. The last 30 seconds. Keep your body moving, right? We need a few seconds to bring the heart rate back down. You should be incredibly proud of yourself because I know I keep saying it's only 30 seconds, doesn't feel that bad, but you're still pushing yourself, right? Pushing out of your comfort zone, taking yourself to your maximum and then bringing it back down. Take it down to five, three, five. It ain't easy, right? Giving yourself 20 minutes a day. That could just be the hard part. So give yourself a little pat on the back. You showed up for yourself. You put in the work. Come back and do it again tomorrow. I'll be here, okay? We stop in another 10. Make sure you um, hydrate. Make sure you towel off. Make sure you stretch out tonight. Hit that step button in four. Three, two, and stop. This is Ibex running. This is our 20 minute beginner hit workout for you. I'm Coach Rachel. I'll see you next time.